Hello there. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so, so much for joining us. Um, Drew's not here right now, but he will be back soon. Um, so I wanted to, hi, Tuggies. Yes, hello. Hi, hi, hi. Um, <laughs> I wanted to share with you guys what we're, um, kind of what we, Drew and I talked last night about how we're going to um, use our live stream to raise funds for Amelia. Um, and what we're going to do is, so today, and I, I'll need your guys' feedback. Um, there are a couple of different ways to insert ads. Um, and I've never quite done this before. And so, um, you can do it where YouTube does it randomly and, um, you can choose, like there's a spectrum. And so we just put it on the most aggressive and then, um, the other one you can choose is just the every so often one. And our options are um, every six minutes, every 12 minutes, 18. It's um, increments of six until every 30. And so I set up today's to be every six minutes. Um, I wanted to see if that would do more ads or less ads. Um, if it was just obnoxious, then we'll just go back to the other way. So I'll need your feedback. Um, but I wanted to, Andrew and I were trying to set it up so that um, the, the more ads that are run, the more, um, revenue will generate and more will be able to send to Amelia's GoFundMe. So, um, I also wanted to thank everybody who donated to, um, to Amelia's GoFundMe. If you want to donate directly to her, um, there is the link in the description of the video. Um. And I wanted to read to you guys the update that we got from Chris this morning. Um, <laughs> hold on just a second, let me look at my phone. Um, oh, I'm sitting on it. So, um, but for yesterday's live streams on replay, I went in and I put in ads um, very frequently. And so um, if you, we understand that you probably don't want to just watch the live stream straight through. I get that. Um, if you are leaving for work and you don't mind leaving your TV on, let it run or your computer and let's just let it run. Um, that helps. Um, if you're just doing house chores, um, you know, if you're sweeping around the kitchen um, and you've got a TV or um, just another TV in the house that you can have on in the background, that all really helps. Um, and if you're leaving, that'll give your pets some companionship too. So um, uh, we're gonna donate all of the funds from these live streams. Um, and I think we've decided for every day that Amelia remains um, in the overnight in the ICU, that live stream, we're going to continue doing the aggressive ads and um, generate just generate as much uh, revenue as we can on those streams, and then we will pool it and donate it to Amelia's GoFundMe. So um, we really appreciate all of you guys for being here um, because just you being here helps. And um, I know that the economy is not great right now. Um, and so it's just a nice way that <laughs> for us to be able to raise funds, YouTube will foot the bill for us. And um, we all can help out um, Amelia and her family. Let me, um, let me read you the update we got this morning. Okay. So this is, I'm quote, so I'm quoting from Chris, um, who is the dad of the family. Um, like God bless you, Chris. You are shouldering a lot right now. Anya, you too. We are thinking about you guys. Um, we got an update from the treating vet today. The experimental procedure that she received yesterday was a partial success. Um, I don't know if we touched on that, but she was having a, an experimental procedure done where um, they essentially inject her own blood into that area where the hole is. And I if you read, if you go to the GoFundMe, you can read up on. Um, Chris explains in much better detail than Drew and I were able to recall from memory what, um, you know, hearing secondhand. Um, and, but it's an experimental treatment that has shown some promising results. And um, 
that's what she's kind of been undergoing um, the last like 24 hours. Um, and I read too that that hole they think was previously there, that the way her organs were um, rearranged, they were actually plugging the hole. Um, and Chris said that if it hadn't been that way that um, she probably would have passed away soon after birth is what that said. So um, anyway, the hole in her lung, oh, but the, that blood is supposed to um, help encourage healing. So um, the hole in her lung is doing better today, but not closed yet. Um, her lung is partially inflated, but not completely inflated. Her stomach still isn't able to keep any food in, but they're fairly optimistic they can treat that with medicine. Um, and I also wouldn't, um, in her current condition, um, I wouldn't expect that the vet is going to be trying to feed her right now um, with all that trauma going on. They just want her body to heal. So they're not, it wouldn't be, um, it's not like points against her. It's not, um, she's not being faulted. It's not a bad sign for her to not be eating right now either. So don't let that part concern you. Um, Uh, everything was looking better. Oh, the nutrition she gets is through her IV. It's called TPN. And so that way that she can get her nutrition um, without eating any food. Sorry. All right. I'll just read straight through this and then I won't interrupt Chris again. I'm sorry. Um, everything was looking better, but each piece of good news came with a caution. The vet said that it is okay to be cautiously optimistic as long as we are very heavy handed with the caution. The procedure that they did uh, cause... The procedure that they did caused a scab to partially close the hole. Uh, oversimplified layman terms is what he's saying. So he's kind of re rewording what the vet said. And there is still the chance that the scab can fall off or that it doesn't finish closing. That's like very, um, very fragile, Amelia is right now. While a partially inflated lung is better than a deflated one, it still needs to be completely closed before her lungs can be considered out of the woods. She is still being very closely observed in the ICU, at least through the weekend. We're extremely happy with this news, but we aren't ready to celebrate just yet. They also said that things were looking very good after the surgery until they suddenly weren't. I still keep my phone on me at all times and still have a sinking feeling in my stomach every time it rings. Oh, God, Chris, I'm so I'm sure that is, like, awful right now. I'm so sorry. Um, please continue to keep Amelia on your thoughts and prayers. She is doing better, but she is far from out of the woods at this point. And then he added... It would be great if you could share the update today on the live stream. Your viewers uh, brought in over $3,000 during your stream. Please, please, please thank them all for us. So a big thank you from Chris. Thank you, guys. I did check their um, GoFundMe this morning and saw that um, between all of you guys, we had come up with $3,100 so far. So um, I know that their bills are adding up quickly. They're at like $7,000, I think, right now. Um, and so every little bit helps. And that's why we wanted to um, donate the revenue that we generate from the stream talking about what's going on. Um, it makes sense to um, give that to them. So um, just you being here, I know we don't have a lot going on right now. We'll try to keep it a little entertaining, um, but the burden that they are feeling right now has got to be immense. and. Um, I know that Chris and Anya will do anything for, um, their kids and Amelia. I know that th they will do all of this for Amelia, even if they, um, you know, even if there isn't a fundraiser or a GoFundMe, um, they are some of the most generous giving people I've ever met. And I remember even saying to Drew after they left that, um, when we we spent a few days with them when they first came to get um, Amelia. For those who don't know, they live in Germany and we're in the United States. So we've got an ocean between us. And so when they came to get Amelia, we spent um, some time together. And um, when they left, like the last time when they went to, you know, go travel and, you know, go start living their lives um, with Amelia, um, Drew and I were so... Um, we admired so much about them, how they take on so many hurdles or like hurdles come their way and they have this ability and, you know, I'm sure it's hard. They have this ability to just turn, 
turn to that next page, move forward, do what they need to do to get through um, the situation. And then all along the way, they are still thinking of everybody else while they are stressing out about their own needs. They are still simultaneously helping other people through like some really um, incredible things. I could not believe some of the stories they shared with us when they were here. Um, it amazed me that a family, I don't know when they sleep, a family who has so much going on, they have spit so many like spinning plates. They had so many like balls in the air that they're juggling and they, they still manage to dedicate a very good portion of their time constantly to give into other people. And they're the last people to ask for help. And so um, when we, uh, as soon as we found out that um, Amelia had this going on, we were, um, started kind of like brainstorming, you know, what we could do it like with the live stream and calling upon you guys for some help. Um, because we knew that they wouldn't, they wouldn't, they won't put themselves out there and ask for help. And, and it makes us want to help them even more. So, um, everybody who has donated to their GoFundMe, thank you guys so much from the bottom of our hearts. Um, we know it means a lot to them. Um, they, if we can just take some of that stress off their plate so that they can focus on their children, um, Amelia's, um, their daughter, their 13 year old daughter, who is Amelia's person, um, she is, she's gotten really used to having Amelia there with her during these times. And so, uh, I am sure she is going through a really hard time with, with that alone, not having Amelia there to comfort her because of what's going on. Um, and so I know that, um, Chris and Anya are doing everything that they can to, to make sure Amelia has every chance at coming home. Um, and so um, that's why we're doing what we can and um, asking everybody to just flip on the live stream, let it run. Um, we're not asking you to even watch it. Um, when the active, when the live stream ends, um, it takes a couple hours to process. And then once it's done processing, I can manually insert ads. And so for, um, for the length of her stay, we're going to do like a marathon of these fundraising live streams. And so if you watch it on replay or if you watch it live, um, we're going to have these, these ads running. Um, you don't even, you don't have to watch the ads even, you can skip them. Um, you still get, you, they, I think they still generate revenue if you, even if you skip them. Um, I believe if you skip it after halfway through, if it goes through more than 50% of the ad, I do believe that um, the channel still gets the ad revenue for that ad play. Um, and so if there's like a one minute ad and you don't, you don't want to watch the whole minute, but the 30 seconds, if you can watch 30 seconds, you'll get the whole ad will get credit. I believe that's how it works, but I could be wrong. And YouTube is always changing things. So, um, but uh, so after the live stream ends um, with yesterday's live streams, I this morning I went in and um, it looked like YouTube had already put some ads in there. Um, and so I kind of I added a few more so that they were. Um, uh, so that they were a little more frequent than what YouTube had picked, but um, and you, not every viewer is pulled for every ad. So also don't think that either. Um, when we tell them an ad slot, it basically gives them, it says we grant you permission to place an ad right there for our viewers if you so choose. And they have their own algorithm for determining when to show you as a viewer an ad. And so if they, are based on your activity if they're afraid you might um click out they might not play an ad um and so they, they do different things to choose who to pick and when and so like during the live stream when um when a viewer is when they're um we'll get a little notice up here that says ad is going to play in 30 seconds um and um it pulls i think like 20 30 percent of the viewers depending on how many people 
So not everybody gets pulled away for the ad. Um, if we have a, an audience of, I think we have an audience of like 45, um, we'll see the viewers drop down to like 32 and then it'll pop back up. Um, and so I'm thinking that that's, those are the viewers who were pulled out for the ad. Um, but um, we're not even asking you to watch them. Just be here, let it play, and um, it'll generate the ad revenue, um, even if you skip the ads. So it helps if you watch them, but you don't have to. Um, just being here helps. Um, I also am going to, I've been um, watching some videos of Amelia when she was a baby. And so um, for each, each morning, I'm going to put in the trailer another, another Amelia video. Um, I was looking through them this morning and some of the ones when she's really young, there's a lot of attention on like the other puppies. And so I chose one from when she was older after the rest of the litter had gone home. And um, she's so playful. And I'm rewatching them with this knowledge now that she wasn't as healthy as we thought she was. And Drew and I, we were thinking back because we remember that we had a puppy last summer that there's the, during that first three days when they're born, we keep a really close eye on their weight. We watch their color when they feed because um, if they have an issue, like a congenital issue, a birth defect, um, especially with their heart, when they are feeding, their color will, will fade. They won't stay as pink. And um, when they're feeding, they may even start turning blue because as they're swallowing, as they're, they're sucking and swallowing, they're not able to take as many breaths, but also they're not able to expand their lungs as much. And so I was watching a video yesterday of Amelia when she was like first born. And when the, the reason that it takes about three days is because when they're first born, uh, they are freshly coming at a mom's womb where they have been getting 100% oxygen and nutrients, um, any defects that they may have had um, don't usually cause a problem until they're born and their bodies are relying 100% on themselves. Um, it's when they're needing to use their own organs that a lot of these things will start popping up. Um, and so that's why those first few days are really critical when we watch them because we can see symptoms um, like that, the, the pale face when they're feeding, we can see little signs like that. And so I was watching this video of Amelia um, when she was first born and she was so pink. She had a really, really pink snout. And um, Drew and I, we remember having a puppy that we were kind of like back and forth, like, is this puppy like a little paler than it should be? And when we were watching this video of Amelia, seeing how pink her face was, um, in hindsight, looking back, we were thinking that that feeling we had about that puppy that may have been Amelia because <clears throat> that pink face she had, I don't think she was ever as pink as that. Um, <clears throat> after she was born, <clears throat> um, because if that, if she had that defect, um, she, you know, we always had kind of noticed and, um, we thought it was just a quirk of hers that, um, she was a little more reserved. She didn't, um, she wouldn't go and like exhaust herself. Um, and so like some things are starting to make a little bit more sense, um, and so, um, I don't know, it's just, it's been interesting to look back and now start putting some of these things together that um, we've known about sweet little Amelia. Um, but, um, oh, for anybody who didn't know, I don't know if I mentioned this, but um, the last we heard, I don't know if we've got a current percentage, but like, the last most recent survival, the prognosis um, for Amelia, they're putting her survival right now at about 50%. Um, before surgery, it was a little over 50%. So it was kind of like a 50%, an optimistic 50%. Um, 
And then after surgery, um, I believe it was after the complications, they dropped that down to not below 50%, but they kind of removed that optimism around it. Um, and so I like what Chris said about that heavy handed caution. Um, um, I can only imagine what they are going through right now, sitting in this limbo um, and wanting nothing more than to lay with her. Um, I, uh, Um, I'm going to pull up the live chat so I can say hello to all of you. We've got 47 people on. Yay. Hi, Shelly. Hi, Linda. Hi, Sue. Sue and Audrey. Hi, Beth and Maggie. I hope Maggie's doing well with her potty training. Diana, how are you? Hugs and kisses to uh, Brenda and Kelly. And a hello to, to um, Enrico. <laughs> Michelle and Vicki, how are you guys? Amanda, how are you? Shelly, that's right. It's Remy's um, Remy's puppy's birthday. I got the cutest pictures of Kiwi yesterday. Oh, he's so handsome. This is um, Remy. Uh, this is Remy and um, Macchiato's first litter. Or, well, yeah, Remy Macchiato's first litter, but Macchiato's first first litter. So, um. Their first birthday is kind of cool. Uh, where was I? Patty, how are you? Thank you for joining us. Aw, Michelle and Vicky, this uh, Kiwi's litter. Uh, so Remy, the Remy Macchiato litter was the first um, litter that they watched. Oh, that's so awesome. The first... It's like the first delivery you guys saw. That's so cool. It's kind of cool to see like the whole year go around. Hi there, Letty. How are you? I hope you're feeling well. I hope you're having a good day. Aw, Maggie, thank you for your puppy hugs. Paula, thank you for joining us. I hope Sunshine is doing well. I hope you're doing well. Being a good girl, Sunshine. Oh, Geo City. <laughs> oh my gosh, Cindy. Oh, I love you, Cindy. <laughs> for anybody who didn't see, Cindy said, leaving for a while, but I've set up the live stream on two computers and my iPad. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are so wonderful. <laughs> Aw, Paula, that's so sweet. I didn't know that. And for anybody who didn't see what Paula said, um, she said that Amelia was her reason for getting sunshine. Audrey Pupburn. Mike and Susie, I'm not sure if you guys are still on, but I hope you guys are well. Those pictures of Kiwi were so cute. In fact, let me pull them up. He is so beautiful.
Let's see if I can do this without um, making the computer zoom in. There's Kiwi and Susie. How sweet is he? Oop, and I just got pictures of Audrey. Look at his pretty coat. He's got such a beautiful coat. His markings are so pretty. Oh, Audrey! Oh. There's Audrey! I hope that's okay so that I'm showing them. Oh, she is so pretty! Oh my goodness! Audrey's like a little, she's like, she's like a little fashion model like Robin. Like that's the sense I get from her, that she's a bit of a princess. Your belly is getting big. Your belly is, is starting to really grow. She's reaching max capacity. Um, okay, back to the live stream. Sorry, guys. Hey there, Cynthia. Thank you for joining us. Um, we did have an update on Amelia. Um, let me go back to it. I read it at the very beginning, so I'll just read through it again so that if anybody joined us, um, they can hear it all over again. So here's the, um, and I interrupted a lot the first time, so we'll just read it straight through. The experimental procedure that she received yesterday was a partial success. The hole in her lung is doing better today, but not closed yet. Her lung is partially inflated, but not completely inflated. Her stomach still is not able to keep any food in, but they are fairly optimistic that they can treat that with medicine. Everything was looking better, but each piece of good news came with a caution. The vet said that it is okay to be cautiously optimistic as long as we are very heavy handed with the caution. The procedure that they did uh, caused a scab to partially, did cause a scab to partially close the hole. Um, and he has in parentheses here that he simplified that um, in layman's terms. Um, there is still the chance that the scab can fall off or that it doesn't finish closing. While a partially inflated lung is better than a deflated one, it still needs to be completely closed before her lungs can be considered out of the woods. So that scab he's talking about, that experimental procedure that they did, they took some of her blood and injected it in down by that hole to try to encourage her body to help heal that hole. And so I presume, without knowing anything about it, I presume that that scab he's talking about is that blood clotting and they're trying to clot that hole and help heal that hole. Kind of like a scab or your a, a scratch. Um, she is still being very closely observed in the ICU, at least through the weekend. We're extremely happy with this news, but we aren't ready to celebrate yet. They also said that things were looking very good after the surgery until they suddenly weren't. I still keep my phone on me at all times and still have a sinking feeling in my stomach every time it rings. Please continue to keep Amelia in your thoughts and prayers. She's doing better, but she is far from out of the woods at this point. And then he went on to say that um, you guys, our viewers, uh, brought in over $3,000 during the stream. And he says, please, please, please thank them all for us. So I wanted to make sure you guys all knew how much they appreciate um, all of your support. Um, I saw that we had 22 donors in um, their GoFundMe. and. Um, I saw a lot of a lot of them were um, channel viewers that I know of that we talked to um, and see in the live chat. And so thank you guys. And we had some channel members too that donated. So just thank you, thank you, thank you. We appreciate you guys so much. Um, but that's why we're also doing the fundraising live stream um, for those of you who can't donate or at least to help them out, um, to help raise, generate money to send to them. For utilizing YouTube to, um, I increase the ads. So um, during live streams, YouTube 
spits ads out once in a while and I didn't want them to like be going crazy. And so I've always, I always have it set like on the lowest end of the spectrum. And so we moved it over to the highest end of the spectrum. Oh, and I also need to ask you guys how the ads like more or less than yesterday, or are they about the same? Um, but today, instead of doing the aggressive end of the spectrum, I just uh, chose the, the um, just every six minutes, take a pool of people and show them an ad. So you'll have to let me know if that increased, decreased, or how that um, affected it. But we're going to do this for every live stream um, that she remains in, in the hospital overnight in the clinic. Um, so we appreciate your being here at all. Um, Cindy is with us in three spots. <laughs> um, but it's really helpful because... Um, all the revenue that we generate through the live stream, we're just going to donate to Amelia to add to what um, all of us are already pooling together. Um, their vet bills are expensive. They they have pet insurance. They are they they're doing it all the way they're supposed to. Um, but as you may know, pet insurance um, and like we've looked into pet insurance for our breeding dogs and um, like for like a see if they have like an OB sort of plan. Um, but it's just really difficult sometimes. Um, but their plan, they have a really good plan. But unfortunately, one of the stipulations is that she has to be at least three years old before she will get unlimited um, help, like reimbursement. And so because she's only eight months old, um, I think they said $500 is what insurance is reimbursing. So um, that's why they need our help. Um, so. Yeah, so we'll be doing this um, each day that she is, um, each day that she's fighting this, um, we're going to continue um, putting ads in. And then on the replays, you can watch the replays. And I just manually put ads into all those, um, all of them, the two of them. We had two yesterday um, because I accidentally screwed, I held the phone too close to the camera and it got stuck all blurry. So I did have to restart it. Um, so there's two streams from yesterday, uh, but both of them, one is just like an hour long, that first one where Drew and I sat down and talked to everybody. Um, that one's like an hour and 15 minutes. And then um, the other one is just like the rest of the day. Um, and then today after this stream ends, I'll do the same thing. Um, but it should only be one stream. Uh, I'll put ads just through the whole thing. Um, and then hopefully we can raise some money to help Amelia out. Um, they're like an overnight stay in a in an emergency vet clinic is a fortune. Um, I've unfortunately been in the situation of doing having to do the emergency surgery and overnight stays that are like kind of indefinite um and it adds up really quickly and it's really scary not knowing how you're gonna pay for it but also um you know it's your family member that is like there's no question about whether or not you're gonna do it but when you're worrying about your pet it's just really really awful to also have to worry about how you're going to pay to do all this. And so um, anything that we can do to help offset that is going to be a huge help. And um, when, when we had Matthew, um, we had a couple of, we had a couple of people who at Drew's work who organized a fundraiser for us and it, was so moving because um, Matthew had um, Matthew's born. He was born unexpectedly, like very, very handicapped, and it was completely caught us off guard. And um, I had to leave my job. Um, it was very expensive because we lost my income, and we also had his medical bills. Um, not everything, you know, when they go to do something in the hospital. Some of the doctors are contracted out and that might not necessarily be in network with your insurance, but they're not going to go and find an in-network 
anesthesiologist who's kind con- you know, they have who they have on staff and that's who they're going to use. And so it gets expensive quickly. Um, and back when they, um, Drew's work did that fundraiser for us. We, um, we always said that we would do something like that. When we had our opportunity, we would do that. And so, um, when we have an opportunity now to help Amelia's family, that's why we want to do this. So, um, all you have to do is nothing. You just have to click on the link, click on the, the live stream and just stick around. You can even turn the volume down. You don't even have to listen to us. <laughs> We we won't we won't encroach on your day. We'll just say quiet. You can mute us. <laughs> You're such a good girl, Missy. Where'd Myra go? Myra's doing well. Myra is six weeks pregnant today. I think actually, she's due in, um, in on the twenty first. Yeah, it's the seventh. So Myra is, she's due in two weeks. <clears throat> You're a good girl, let me see. What's up, Pom? What are you, what are you eating? Huh? Huh? <clears throat> There's gonna have more sticks on you. Hi, Pommy. Kelsey asked yesterday if we got Palm to be an ESA, <clears throat> and um, actually, we didn't get Palm or Paris to be ESAs. We got them um, for breeding. Um, Paris became an ESA um, just kind of by happenstance because when I went to pick up the two, <laughs> they're so good at getting in my mouth, and they can't even see like their sound is in the way. But anyway. Um, I got Paris and Pom Pom. We got them together. Um, and Paris bonded with May that night. May came with me and we stayed in a hotel room. And we got them that night before. So they got to sleep with us overnight. And Paris and Pom Pom slept with May. And Paris book break to her. And so there was just no denying that Paris was going to be May's dog. And um, Pom Pom, she didn't really get close to anybody she was just loved everyone <laughs> she um I feel like Pom Pom would be a really good therapy dog where she just gets to love on everybody um but Pom Pom she would make a really really good ESA dog um <laughs> it was all, it's only been in her more adult life that she's been a lot more like this when she was a puppy she she was one of those puppies that didn't really like to play with kids that um she was very picky. Um, she didn't want to play with kids. She didn't want to really be with kids. They just kind of made her uncomfortable. Um, and she was just very serious. She was a very serious doggy. Yeah. You are a good girl. She would be a wonderful ESA. Maybe you can just join the Daisy team. Daisy and Pom. You want to join Team Daisy? You can be my ESA too. Oh, wow. What? Oh. <laughs> what? What's going on? What is going on? What happened? Did you guys hear something that I didn't? What happened? <laughs> what was that? Everybody's suddenly jealous of you. Hi, sweetie. You're a good girl. Hi, Daisy Doodle. Ah, you're a good girl. You are a good girl. Hi, sweetie. Hey, Rez, you're a good girl. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Myra is becoming very spoiled with our bedroom. She will only hang out in the kitchen now if we are in here. Um, and that's because she needs to be with people. It's not even because. She prefers the kitchen. <laughs> she wants to be in the bedroom. Oh, and I have, so I've been listening to our live streams and the audio is awful. And I'm so sorry, you guys. I um, never really paid that close of attention to the audio. Um, I have little, those little lapel microphones and that's what we can use to fix it. 
um, because they just it plugs into the computer and then we'll use the audio from that. But that way we're speaking directly into the microphone um, and you're not getting all of the echo from the floor and the ceiling um, because the microphone is over on the camera where the lens is. Um, so, but I've been looking for those microphones and I can't find them anywhere. So I'm going to order a couple new ones. Um, but I got them back when we were doing the stream off of our phones in our bedroom and they were C plugs. And so I couldn't use them off the phone. So, but now that we are streaming just straight off the computer, we can use them on the computer. Yeah. In fact, let me just find those. Order a new set. Hi, sweetie pie. Hi. Hello. Hi. You need a turn. Okay. Okay. Oh, these are pretty inexpensive. Hold on, dogs. I'm sorry. Oh, I got a dog. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, Um, oh, I am curious. Um. Oh, um. Jennifer, you have a puppy of ours. You don't need to become a channel member to get access to the members forum. Um, let me pull up 
app, let me approve here. If you um if you've sent a request, and happy birthday to Molly, by the way. Um, if you sent a request, uh, or if you have not sent a request, go ahead and send it and I'll approve it. Otherwise, I will come in here and find it. Um, but families don't need to become a channel member. If you have a puppy from us, we kind of see that as like, you, I mean, you don't need to pay to um, just be a channel member as a subscription. Um, having gotten a puppy from us, you don't need, you have access, like lifetime access to keep up with um litter mate families and the other puppies um that's like the least we can do Oh, here you are. I found you. Oh, maybe. All right, I got you approved, um, Jay and Molly. Yeah, you guys don't need to be, um, if you're a puppy family, you don't need to become a channel member to act for access to the members forums. Um, I believe we, um, for uh, the Remy and Audrey, or for you know, Remy and Macchiato litter, um, the first one, um, Remy's first litter, um, we didn't have memberships set up yet. We didn't have the forums um, and all that jazz. And so what we do now is when families pick their puppy, we just kind of automatically just add them to the forums. And so if you had a puppy from a previous litter, um, we might not already have you in there. So um, for anybody who has a puppy earlier on, um, if you've requested to... Um, become a member of our website, let me know and I will go through and find your request because it's probably buried um, for a number of months. And sometimes we still get this. We've had um, somebody who is just spamming our, um, our site request form and it makes it really difficult to go through them. Uh, luckily it's been slowing down late lately. The spam. Oh, Theo's mom. How are you, Theo? How are you? Oh my gosh. Oh, I miss you guys. Oh, Paula, you're not approved. Um. I don't have a pending Paula 
or by cats either. Is your email something different? Like, is it a bump update on Myra? Now, yes, you can. They all need to run around a little bit. Oh, Rio. Come on, Rio. to be out of heat so that we can bring Rio back through. He loves hanging out with the ladies. He has so much fun with Vienna. He and Vienna are really, really close. Careful. Rio! Rio! Hi, buddy! Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Oh, yes, you're a good boy. He was a good boy. He was a good boy. Wait, no, don't you jump on the counters? Here, actually, let's do this. You got stuff we need. Ooh, that red rocket away, man. <laughs> I was thinking he might have some mats to work out. No, he's not any mats. Let's check your tail. You are such a good boy. You're such a good boy. You're such a good boy. We're gonna be doing um, his testing soon. And so when we get the kit to do it, we're gonna share that with you guys since um, we have our more, um, our live stream on the moms and dads right now. Um, when we get that kit in the mail, we will, um, we'll probably just do it on the stream so that you guys can see kind of the steps involved and what that's all about. But we'll be doing his testing soon so that we can clear him for breeding. Yes, just a good boy. He's a good boy. Hmm. Yes, Rio's a good boy. You're a good boy. Yeah. Oh, don't jump. Don't jump. I know you're excited. You're excited. You're such a good boy. <laughs> I bet your brother Theo is. Handsome. I bet he is handsome because I know you are. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. 
<laughs> I know, I know. Yeah, what's up? Oh, I was reading too that dogs have a dominant hand. Um, I don't know if you guys, any of you knew that, but I did not know that. I was reading that um, dogs have a dominant hand much like people do. Um, and if you want to find out which hand your dog has, just um, all you have to do is give them something that they would, you know, raise their paw at, see which paw they choose to get your attention, um, those sorts of things. Your spur is so soft. Here, Rio, are you right handed or left handed? Right paw or left paw? Here, let's let it treat. Where do the cards go? Huh? Let's see. Let's see if you'll use pause. Reset. Good boy. All right. Set. Good boy. Looks like he wants to use his left one. So which one does he? Oh, his right. <laughs> There's another one. Can you use a paw? Can you pick a paw? No. You're a good boy, Rio. You're a good boy. Your fur is so soft. I can't wait to bring you on board. Yeah, you're a good boy. You're such a good boy, Rio Dawn. Oh, I can't wait for you to be a daddy. You are going to have some gorgeous puppies. Yes. Yes. I think it's time to bring the girls in. And we got to hide you from the girlies. Hi, oh, hey, buddy. You are such a good boy. In fact, uh, we're going to put you guys outside and bring the girls in. So you go wait patiently. Girls. Inside. 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 Inside.
Hi there, Lisa. Lisa and Piper. Oh, it's so sweet about Piper looking for everyone. <laughs> 
You are such a good dog, Gage. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Thank you. Yeah. You're a good girl. You are good girls. Robin, you're too good at that. Oh, and um, I found somebody, I can't remember who was asking if we had um, snoods for our dogs. And our ESAs all have snoods. Um, this is Daisy's snood. It's a little bit too small for her, but it fits being on Palm pretty well. This is her snood. And you put it on to basically hold her ears in. Daisy's is a unicorn. Um, Vienna, you want to put it on? Yeah, I was like, I'll wear it. <laughs> and they always look miserable once it's on. <laughs> There's Vienna with the unicorn. Unicorn Vienna, what you think, Pom? <laughs> She's like, maybe I didn't think this decision through. <laughs> Robin has a lion's mane. Um, and I can't remember. Which other ones we have? We have two more. I haven't seen the lion one in a while. Whoop. Harris has one though, sitting around somewhere. You got fur in your eye. Let me get out. Almost. There, we got it. We got it. We got the fur out. Now she can open her eyes. What'd you think, Vienna? What'd you think? Vienna, out of all the dogs, was the one to actually keep it on. She wasn't immediately trying to take it off. Hi, Pom. You're such a good girl. And Vienna loves face scratches, so she can still get her favorite scratch, even with this new done. She likes to just like, she just likes you to just go like this. It's kind of bizarre, but that's her thing. That's her jam. Yeah. You're a good girl, Vienna. You're a good girl. You said you're good. You said you're good, Vienna. Hmm. <laughs> you're such a good girl. Yes. Hey, Mocha. Hey, Mocha. Hey, Mocha, Shmoka. Stinking cute. Hi, baby. <laughs> Are you ready for it to come off, Vienna? <laughs> I think so. Hi, Daisy Doodle. Yeah. All I can see is her little horn. Yeah. Come here. I'll take it off for you. Come here. Here you go. You're free. You're free. Hi, Daisy. I still love you. You're still my number one. You're still my number one. Yes, you are. You're still my number one. Hi, Trudy. When you come out of the bedroom, you see how much, I, how much time I spend with the other dog, don't you? You should come out of the bedroom somewhere. Hi, Remy. Happy one year since your first babies were born. You're such a sweet. You have some beautiful, beautiful babies. You do. You have beautiful babies. Beautiful, beautiful babies. No! No, 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 no! <laughs> no. Thank you. I need more of You stop! Okay, okay. That's not linky looky. Oh, 
I'm going to adjust the ads back to the um, aggressive to see if it increases, decreases, to see how it changes it. All right, you guys will have to let me know how the ads change. Oh, Shelly says they went up from this way. Okay. I'm half regretting not doing the eggs because I'm so hungry. I got something else too. Oh, you did? From Aldi. Hey, thank you. I'm excited.
Outside for a little bit, and then we brought Rio in here, and he was such a good boy. Oh, Rio. And then, um, Rio's mom, hold on. Oh, really? Yeah, a lot of, like, Remy, Remy, and Ron. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a good stream. So I, I blow up my phone, but you know. You have to keep your phone. Um. Oh. Yeah, like we don't know. Um, I was wondering in the chat when we uh, not following it. Place the order of how it's going to be and then I kind of went back from there to make the crowd. It was finished, so I just wrapped it. Hang around is like, it's right off the highway, like, off the highway is something. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, you need so much more sense. Yeah. yeah. But I went to Eric's right at that first. I must have placed it over at the right time because I think I thought pretty quick. But when I got there, there was a line. Just easy. This just came inside. <laughs> from the, 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 the Paris. Or Paris, hush. It was all the way out to the street, like to the streets, like the. the
that's good. Are you enjoying some with your hobby? Oh, no, I don't know. Yeah.
Kissy, you're such a good girl. Look at you, you're such a good girl. My sweet guy. See, after Amelia, like, now I'm looking at Deanna wondering, she's so skinny and small, and she's really narrow in her abdomen. Is her stomach where it doesn't belong? No, because she eats it very readily. But she remember how dainty she was for so long? She was very dainty. Maybe the vet should do an x-ray. Her face is mature, but her like it's from the pound pound. Look at how like yeah. she's so pretty. You're a very pretty there, Pony. And she did look like that when she was a year old. Yeah. She looked a lot like skinnier and mm -hmm. smaller than she does. You're so beautiful, Pommy. And she's got like perfect front feet, that face perfectly forward. She doesn't have a couple letters and that just like made her she's a woman now yeah, she's a woman. <laughs> you're a woman she's a woman man be a lack of woman <laughs> she was so sweet this morning when i came in here and started the live that um all the dogs were really kind of like laying around not doing much and she came over, she noticed and like came darting over and got right into my lap. Like, I'll do something. And well, yeah, she usually perches up and yeah. she did that first, but then she decided she was gonna like climb into my lap and <laughs> take my lap. And then Remy noticed and oh, Remy just appeared like over my shoulder. You know how she does. I want some of that too. I'm gonna do that. Oh, so they're so sweet. You want some of this chili? Yes, I do, please. Oh man, that's probably any. <laughs> No, there's, there's plenty for us to have a little bit. Uh, it'll be really good if you want a piece of bread with it. Oh, really. can we just make the cornbread? Is it clean? Uh, yeah, it's clean. I'm sure you hate that idea, but do we have any of the honey cornbread? Cornbread? Do we have the honey one on? Huh? Do we have the honey one? Uh, we don't have the honey one, but I just add honey to this one. Oh, um, okay. That's, that's good enough. Same thing? Yep, same thing. Same thing. Um, if you are just joining us, um, oh, I'll show you this. I'm going to read Chris's update again. Um, we are, Drew and I are, um, these live streams that we have, the daily live streams that we do with Amelia being, um, so ill right now and her vet bills skyrocketing. Um, and they, and I just, I don't know if you said it, but uh, they do have her covered under insurance. I did mention that, yeah. But because yeah. she's so young, yeah. she didn't have a lot of time to like build up, um, right. what's it called, on your, um, tenure, what is it? Um, I'm struggling. But, yeah, it's all right. I, I explained how until she's three, they won't cover, um, except for 500. Yeah. But, um, and so what we're doing is, Drew and I, we went ahead and we made a donation to their GoFundMe on behalf of Red Barn Cavaliers. Um, and then we also are using our live stream to help generate as much ad revenue as possible. And then we're gonna donate that to the Adkins family. So um, we're doing that for the live streams for um, yesterday, pretty much for all the live streams that we're talking about. Amelia, and this is going on um, essentially until, she, for as long as she is in the ICU. Um, and so you'll probably be seeing ads a lot more frequently um, because we cranked them up. Um, we, it's a, it's a nice way that if, if you can't donate um, cash to their GoFundMe, 
just you being here can really, really help. And you don't have to listen to us. You can mute it. You can turn it on the TV in another room. You don't have to even look at us. Yeah. Um, if you can just let it run um, and it'll play the ads and um, it'll help generate some revenue. Um, and then we'll share all that with you guys um, uh, once we're as the um, there's like the first probably like the first week or so after the live stream. After that, it kind of plateaus. But the yeah. first week or so, um, it will continue gaining uh, more revenue. And so we won't have like a, a figure for anybody until um, like for yesterday's stream. We'll probably have a better idea of what the revenue is in about a week. Um, tomorrow we'll be able to know like what the or later today we'll know what the live revenue was. Um, and, and just so that you guys like, we don't make a whole bunch of money yeah. on these. Like when um, it might be five dollars a day, um, like from the actual live stream. Yeah, like on a typical day. Yeah. When there's like the pre-roll ad, um, and some midstream ads, um, yeah, the right. the the next day it'll calculate how much revenue is generated and it's usually between like two and four dollars um to give you a little a little bit of perspective um however for streams that have like something going on that are busier um they can be more like 10 or 12 dollars and that's with our ads being like as low as possible and so that's why we want to that's why we're hammering out those ads as much as we can because we don't really know how much it would how much they would um how much um revenue they would give us um with the with the aggressive ads and so we're hopeful that um they will youtube will really pull through for us um but that's why we're also asking um anybody to just leave the stream on let it play um because it's just another way for all of us to help the adkins raise money for amelia's bills um um what else? Um, and then the replays also, um, I think those don't generate, um, it usually gets, of course, more money on the replay. Um, I think the ads come, they come out more on the replay, but um, either way, the it's set up so that um, they'll be back. <laughs> Um, when the stream is live, um, I think it doesn't put out as many ads because when we're on replay, I can just go in there and just insert, I could put an ad uh, placement at 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds if I wanted to. Um, but um, what I did with yesterday's, um, not every ad slot is going to be filled. And when it does drop an ad, it's not going to drop for everybody. And so for yesterday's streams, I um, put ads in. And the first hour, I think I did like every two and a half minutes. And then um, for that next hour, I did every four minutes. And then just kind of decreased the, decrease a little bit over there, a little bit there for the rest of the stream um but i put ads throughout the whole stream the whole like 11 hours um and so if you just leave it on and let it play hopefully a lot will um a lot of ads will drop and you don't have to even watch it you can just skip the ad um because revenue is generated even if you don't watch it just for it playing in that five second exposure um the the company is charged um for that ad placement even if you don't watch it um if you do watch it then of course then it gets a little bit more um but if you skip it like halfway through if you watch at least half of it you get i believe my understanding of most recent um youtube revenue logistics um is that if it's skipped at like 51% or more, then um, 
then you are you receive the entirety of the revenue for that ad play. And so if it's a three minute ad, if you watch just a minute 30 and then skip it, you'll get the credit for that three minutes. Um, but uh, we appreciate everybody who has donated to their GoFundMe. Um, I know that they are really, really, really surprised and um, their hearts are really warmed by your guys' generosity. So um, we really appreciate it. Um, and then for the live stream, strength in numbers, and hopefully we can donate some more. On behalf of the YouTube community. Oh, I forgot my coffee. Oh, okay. She does is pretty funny. She does very well.
Paulo.
He's got a couple that look like that.
Netflix included it. I wonder, I think that um, they just made it an option where you can choose what you don't want. Netflix swap it to Apple, Apple Plus, Apple Plus. Yeah, so I'll look into that. Yeah, I have Netflix. Yeah, I will look into this, please.
Bradley, you need to clean this up.
Paris. Hi. Come here, Paris.
See you guys later. I'm going to go get Philip and Carter. Please keep Amelia and the Atkins in your thoughts and um, prayers.
Paris, do you hear your mama? Do you hear your mama? Come on, girls. Hey Bella, yeah. do you want um, pineapple and peaches? Yeah. What are you doing? I want to put the kitchen as my challenge. Oh. On one foot. Oh. On, on those, on that chair. I don't think I'm feeling good.
Oh, she's been out. I let her be out. Oh, 
Syrup all of Syrup? Yeah. Your pancakes? Yeah. On the side or on top? Bella. On the side or on top? On top. in here, sweetie.
Where'd you go? Oh, here. You're here. This is 
I would um, swirl it up. Thank <laughs> you. 
Iron Bolt. There's Paris. Running low on bowls. What do you guys do with your bowls? I've got four. I should have mine.
Daisy Doodle, you're such a good girl. You're such a good girl. Thank you for using the pill tray. Are you girls done? Are you girls done? Huh? Are you all done? How was dinner? How was dinner? Did you enjoy dinner? Are you guys already go outside? Mama, 
You're silly. Mary, stop! Okay, you're not going to eat your food. We're going to finish it up and then. Hi, sweetie. <laughs>
Come on, girls. Try me. Honey, I know you didn't finish that food for her. Did you let her eat some? Girls, are you coming?
so long. We get rows and not raws. We need that E on the end. What a good boy you are! You're such a good boy. My phone.
Do you want a button to push? All right. I'll let you do it. Very good. Done. Look how many more. It's a little big. I don't know how to put your spoon in.
You're a good girl, Paris. You're a good girl. You're good doggies. You are good doggies. Is everybody full? Doggies, my sweet. You're such a good girl, Paris. You're so sweet. Everybody needs baths. I'm gonna give her some showers. Don't have that. Right, right. 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 All right, so well, you come on through. Yeah, you wait. Come on over. Hi, Rob. Where are you? Hi, Rob. 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 Hi, Rob.
Um, all right, guys, I'm going to end the live stream tomorrow morning. We will be starting it uh, nice and early again, and we're going to do the same thing where we're going to be fundraising for Amelia. So um, I hope you have a good night. We appreciate your support, um, and I hope we see you again tomorrow.